I am Dr. Prakash, a nephrologist from Manipal Hospital, Malaysia. Today I thought probably I will briefly uh, give you some inputs on uh, the importance of salt. Salt, I mean the common salt or chemically as it is known as sodium chloride. Uh, there is an interesting history added to this salt. Not that we have started uh, noting about salt of late. It has been there uh, for ages. If you have to really know, almost uh, as uh, early as 2 million years ago, when the human mankind came into existence, salt was uh, a topic which was uh, alluded to. And subsequently, uh, by the uh, 13 year, uh, almost 13,000 13, years ago, salt again came into uh, limelight, wherein our uh, Homo sapiens, what you call as a wise man, the only surviving uh, human being uh, consumed very less salt to the tune of almost uh, 0.5 grams per day and then came around 8,000 8, 8, years ago when we had these Romanians. Romanians uh, in, realized the importance of salt. They used to uh, preserve their meat in the brine and then slowly appreciated the importance of salt, the taste of salt. And uh, subsequently, it so became so important that the salt was traded in, uh, in markets. Uh, salt was actually used as a ba barter for uh, gold. One ounce of uh, salt was almost equivalent to one ounce of gold. That's how the importance of salt uh, was uh, uh, introduced then. And subsequently, if you have to speak about what happened in India, Way back uh, in 1930s or so, the Britishers who were ruling us those years uh, started that so, um, and taxed salt. Salt was taxed th those days. And then we all know that our great uh, leader, father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, went on a real march known as the Dandi March, wherein he protested against the Britishers for charging or taxing salt. That's how it began and then subsequently it was an history which everybody knows. So coming to the salt, uh, the importance of salt. Salt, salt has become a necessity for all of us now as a taste enhancing uh, substance. And uh, salt to say is a combination of sodium and chloride. 40% of sodium and 60% of chloride. But we commonly use uh, that term uh, we don't really uh, bifurcate the two, but we can always say that salt is the common salt which we all take. And uh, generally the salt intake could be any, anywhere from 0.5 grams to uh, 10 grams. And if you have to really know what uh, is followed worldwide uh, in the US, uh, why I'm quoting US is that because there were uh, studies which were done and they took into account as to how much of salt the Americans consume. And it is uh, known that probably they would take uh, almost three to four grams of salt per day. And we as uh, copy, uh, we copied their uh, practice. And in fact, our salt intake in uh, Indians is almost equal to almost eight to 10 grams. So we generally take a lot of salt. And where does this salt come from? Mostly it is from the processed food or canned food uh, to the extent of almost 80% and 20% maybe we had uh, additional salt into our diet. Having known all about how the salt is important, where is it available, I think we should also know why is it important for us to know about salt because it has its own effects on the body. Uh, so anything excess, anything in excess that is taken, that, that mean, uh, what I mean is the salt intake has number of uh, effects on the body, right from high blood pressure, heart attacks, heart failures, strokes, some cancers in the body, especially the cancer stomach and other cancers. Then it is also known to have an effect on the asthma, uh, osteoporosis and Meniere's disease. So these are some of the diseases which have been associated with high salt intake. And uh, coming to the hypertension part, uh, it is also noted that African-Americans and Indians 
और सॉल्ट सेंसिटिव दैट मीन्स फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ फस और सॉल्ट सेंसिटिव एंड दे टेंड टू डेवलप एसेंशियल हाइपर टेंशन इन एडिशन टू द अदर टू रीजन्स बींग द एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स एंड जेनेटिक फैक्टर्स सो वॉट हैपन्स इन दिस एसेंशियल हाइपर टेंशन पेशेंट्स इज दैट किडनी इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वाइटल ऑर्गन विच डज वंडरस वंडरफुल फंक्शन ऑफ एक्सक्रीटिंग द सॉल्ट हाउ मच अवर सॉल्ट वी टेक it will preserve what is required and the rest is excreted it is believed that uh, the salt is not excreted to the extent which is to be excreted in these patients who have salt sensitive hypertension there are other reasons also as to why uh, these people have salt sensitivity in the form of some of the enzymes these uh, what we call as stress hormones uh, there is increased secretion of stress hormones in, in the form of catecholamines and there is increased calcium in the Uh, blood vessels also accounting for this hypertension now coming to the renal or kidney effects what about kidney effects because of salt those people who take excess persistently persistent excess intake of salt can give rise to high blood pressure over a period of time not that they take salt today and they develop blood pressure tomorrow it's over a period of time that they can develop and that hypertension over a period of time say 15 to 20 years or more than that uh, if they have then they tend to develop hypertension related kidney disease also in the form of chronic kidney disease or end stage end stage kidney disease some people are known to develop proteinuria some people known are also known to have increased incidence incidence of renal stones uh, the hypertension part what i was trying to allude to is only the tip to iceberg and uh, going by the research studies uh, there are other things which have been associated with salt so we it is uh, prudent for all of us to limit our salt intake if i have to say uh, in plain uh, word about salt is that salt is almost second white po- poison you can say the first one all, all of you know is about the sugar sugar being the white poison poison and then th- this can be taken as a second white poison which has lot of deleterious effects on the body so it is prudent for all of us to restrict our salt intake how much ever is absolutely uh, required to be palatable that much amount is what one should take and um, i would uh, recommend uh, that a salt intake of almost up to 2 grams per day is what one should take no salt also is not good and the other thing is people who have kidney disease have to be little wary of taking especially one other salt known as rock salt or in kannada it is called saindra ravana so that they need to avoid so uh, ladies and gentlemen i think probably it is important for us to uh, restrict these two white poisons to keep our uh, uh, ourselves healthy and uh, fit and tidy thank you